Confuser is Confusing Productions presents. Okay, right, there's a school dude claim here with another with another attempt at installing Windows 7. Now I'm gonna try it with the 64-bit disk. Should be loading up now, and I am going to edit while the things are loading up. Anyway, as you might be able to tell, I decided this time that I'm going to use a proper monitor connected up to the computer instead of the TV. And look what happens when Windows finally finishes loading the files. As you can see, the proper Windows 7 startup screen. For some reason it only shows this if I have the monitor connected up. If I have the TV connected up, which isn't connected up at the moment, it shows that other screen, which is kind of strange. And this is the screen that it hangs at, but I found out that it doesn't actually hang at this screen. It just takes a little while to actually do something, so I'll come back when that's done. 500,000 million years later, finally! The installation screen pops up, but I've discovered something. It will not work with a PS2 mouse. As you can see, there's no mouse pointer, and no matter what I do with this mouse, which is a PS2 mouse, as you can see, it's not doing anything on the screen. However, I've got a USB mouse here, and I'll plug that in. Excuse the mess of this place. Right, so I plugged in a USB mouse. And now, there is a mouse pointer on the screen. So that's kind of weird that um, it won't accept a PS2 mouse. This was a last ditch attempt at trying to make it actually work. I didn't actually even think that was going to work, but it did. So I'm just going to select all these things now and um, let's see if this bugger installs. Well, boys and girls, seems we got light at the end of the tunnel. It is installing. And why am I talking like that? Okay, well, here we is. I've got Windows 7 working. I don't know if this is online at the moment. I'm going to go into Internet Explorer and see if it's actually got internet connectivity. It says connecting, but I don't know if that means it actually is online. Seems to be online. Okay, I don't care about that. My browser has been what? Upgraded. Okay, let's just see if we can uh, search for something. Let's see if I can search for my Google Mail. Okay, that's looking promising. It's definitely online. I haven't actually put a product key in yet, I'm just trying that on the 30 days thing that you get. Probably shouldn't be showing this because people are going to flog me with, me with emails now, but anyway. Probably haven't even typed in the password properly because I never remember things like that. But yes, it is working that we do have email. Um, yeah, you always keep telling me that. But I want to change my email address. If I do, none of my emails are going to work. Okay, let's see if we can make that resolution a bit better. Okay, um, it's got 1280 by 1024. Keep changes. That's better. I can see a lot more of stuff now. Okay. No YouTube playback yet because I don't have Flash on this. But screw this. I'm going to stick Google Chrome on this because that's a much better browser anyway. I'm amazing. Yes, we all know that. Alright. Google Chrome and all my apps. Now, last time I tried to install Google Chrome on the XP installation. I didn't need to install any plugins or anything, it just worked right out the box, so I'm going to try that right now. Well, come on then, let's see the Google Mail. Uh, 
And okay. Got cult subscribers. Let's see if YouTube works. As if it doesn't know what language I'm going to use. No, oh, apparently I am not signed in. I thought I would be. I had a phone number. I'm not going to add my phone number. I hate talking on the phone. So screw you. Alright, let's just try a video. I haven't got the sound connected up at the moment, so nothing's gonna, no sound's going to play. Here's one of Speaker Freak 95's videos. Which is just a random video I chose for no particular reason, and you can see that it's working. Okay, well I've installed the graphics card driver on Windows 7 now. So let's go into Windows 7, and you can see I'm running it on the TV now. And as you can see, for some reason, when I run it on the TV, we get this other loading screen. So I don't really know what that's all about. But now I'll finally be able to see whether that graphics card works better on Windows 7. Anyway, here it is, the actual um, information about my computer. And as you can see, it is running 64-bit Windows 7. And yes, I know I haven't activated it yet. But that's the least of my worries right now. So let's see if we can change the screen resolution now. Well, that's different. It's called AMD Vision on this. It was called a... Uh, um, something Catalyst on Windows XP. Which also need to test check that Windows XP is still running. I mean, running. Let's see if we can go to screen resolution. I think this is on... Yep, it's on 1920 by 1080 at the moment. So I'm going to change that. Oh, looks like we can change the screen resolution. I want 1280 by 720. Apply that. Make sure it works. Yeah, keep changes. All right. Now my camera, and my battery is running out now, so I uh, guess I'll see you all later. But now we do have a successful Windows 7 install. So I'm going to play about with this and get to know it, and uh, I'll see you later. Okay, stop.